Greetings. Good morning, everybody. Hey, hi, hello. So this morning, I'm going to do a couple things. So I'm going to share a couple of announcements. And then I'm going to answer your questions. So I'm getting, you know, inbox messages and questions. And I said, okay, I'll do a Q&A this morning. So if you have a question or you think of a question, maybe during the time that I'm making announcements, write it down and put it in the comments. It could be any life question or a question about your business. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of our time together this morning, I'm going to share like a question or a uh, concept, very transformational as it relates to money. And um, I, I believe it's going to bless you tremendously. Um, it definitely has been a blessing for me. And, you know, the work that I get to do and being able to, you know, earn money with greater ease as I continue to evolve and grow and share that with my clients. So um, I will start with the announcements. So the Her Master class, um, for those of you who um, have been watching or whatever, <laughs> as I shared about the Her Master class, it is April, Tuesday, April the 26th at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, 6 o'clock Central Time. For those of you who are like, what is the Her Master Life class? Um, the class is an opportunity for me to support you in understanding more about your feminine energy, more about masculine energy, and how to balance the two. Um, I personally believe that our femininity and our feminine energy is a superpower for us as women. And I believe the world space has, you know, kind of caused us to feel we had no choice but to do things in a very masculine way, you know, chase the bag, go hard, um, even be super moms. And I want to share what I've learned as I've stepped even deeper into my own personal inner work and healing and how the aspect of, you know, understanding your feminine energy, how to rest in it, how to allow it to benefit your life so that you have a more full, more connected, um, enjoyable life um, that is going to be in that master life class and a huge benefit also to our feminine energy because it me supporting you and understanding it is not about um, me helping you to get a, a new boo, right? But it is a benefactor because many relationships fail because there is no polarity in the masculine and the feminine in our relationships. And so um, it, it definitely benefits understanding how to rest in your feminine energy. It blesses you, you know, in not just your intimate relationships, but all relationships. There's so many benefactors to understanding your feminine energy. I'm making announcements for you guys that are coming on. Say hello in the comments this morning. And as we continue on, be sure to write down any life or business questions you may have because I'm going to do a Q&A on um, this morning's session after right after I finish the announcements. So, hey, hi, hello again. And to you, replay viewers. So that's pretty much what the um, Her Master Life session um, is going to be about on Tuesday. Uh, the enrollment for that class ends on Sunday. So after Sunday, you'll no longer be able to get in. But for those of you who have joined and are joining, um, it's lifetime access. So whenever I host that class again, you will get an opportunity to join us. Even if the price has increased or anything of that nature, you just have that opportunity to join us again. It may be a season where you want to tap into your feminine energy a little more, um, or maybe I've added something to the curriculum for that. You would get that and you get lifetime access um, when you join us. So that's the first announcement. For those of you who are have not you're still a little uncertain. I've done several um, 
trainings about feminine energy and you can go to hashtag H-E-R and you'll be able to find some things. And also if you go down my timeline, you'll see at least my last two trainings have been about the benefits, which are huge, of your feminine energy. So for um, those of you who just, you're like, this is my first time, but I'm really into living a a more softer life where I'm not always chasing the bag and things are coming to me and I'm attracting things and I'm understanding how to receive because it also impacts your money, girls. It also impacts your money. Second announcement. Um, so this is huge for me. I absolutely love my opportunities to support women in this way. I, I love all of the work that I do, um, but this is one of my babies. So I created an opportunity probably I think in 2017, where I began to teach women how to teach what they know and monetize it. So whether it's their gifts, their talents, their expertise, their intellectual property, I help them to monetize that. And the way that I teach the curriculum allows women to, um, once we've you know, decided a container for the work that they do or the gift that they do, it allows them to teach it uh, in, in numerous ways, whether that's through a seminar or a workshop or um, through one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching or one and done where you create an actual course that earns money for you while you sleep. Now, I do operate from a premium um, space when helping people to create their courses. Um, and I'll talk about uh, some of the reasons for that as I do, I'm going to do a little money segment before I end um, on today. But I decided that I would do a one day in uh, in person live intensive. Um, and that's going to be May the 14th in Raleigh, North Carolina. It is called Teach What You Know, the only place that I actually teach that this particular training is inside my exceptional mastermind and I had someone to connect with me about their intellectual property and of course and I just felt led I said okay hey Pam dear I said how can I in this season in this right now help someone to monetize their gifts expertise and talents and you know create money with ease and that they can do over and over and over again from the perspective that they're creating it in a like a six figure container that would earn them, you know, six figures uh, throughout the year. So that's the perspective that we build that particular opportunity from. And the price increases for the Teach What You Know Live Intensive on April the 26th, which is the same day as the her master class. So that price increases. Um, for those of you who are joining us, you need to do it now if you want to save. You save about $500 uh, by doing it now. And there is a an installment option that will also go away on that same day. So um, everyone who comes would have to pay the uh, one-time uh, fee in order to come. So teach what you know. I'll be helping you monetize your gifts, your talents, your expertise. Also, someone messaged me in my inbox and said that they watched, I, I have a video on my timeline uh, called Teach What You Know, and they just wanted me to know that they found a lot of value in that video. So you can also go and find that video on my timeline when this is over. But the link for you to join us for that is RenewFullCircle.com slash T-W-Y-K live. RenewFullCircle.com slash T-W-Y-K live. It's going to be absolutely amazing. It's a small, intimate group of women. We're going to spend the day together. So, of course, you get a, you know several things from me. You'll, you'll learn how to brand it, marketing, sales. You'll even be able to identify what type of teacher you are. Um, should you do a boot camp? Should you do a one-and-done course? So all those things will go down that day. Um, there will also be space, you know, within that time frame. It's about a seven hour time frame uh, that's accumulated for you to have lunch. And the space that we're having it in, you can um, go and have lunch in that space or if there's something close by, 
you can um, leave and then come back with us. So anyway, um, yeah, that's going to go down on May the 14th. Many of you have a gift, a talent, an expertise, something you've been doing for quite some time. Hey, Russell, how are you, dear? And, you know, you want to know how to monetize it. You, you're at a space in your business where the role that you play in your business is not necessarily the role that you want to continuously be doing forever. You want to bring in more revenue with more ease and more flow. And so that is an opportunity for me to teach you how to do that. I've created over 30 courses myself. And so at any given time, I could wake up to, um, I would say unexpected revenue, but I'm, I am in expectation because I built it so that it would do that, so that I would have more time, freedom, and more ease and flow about earning revenue. And my heart is to share that with more women because I believe that the all of the roles that we play as women, as you know, wives, moms, uh, chef, nurse, counselor, Uber driver, um, housekeeper, there's so many roles that we play, and many of us are, you know, running businesses or you know, really high in corporate America spaces. And so that's my way of teaching women how to monetize um, their gifts and create money with more grace, ease, and flow. That's to teach what you know, one day live, in-person, intensive. Again, that price increases on April the 26th. There is, at this time, there is an installment option that allows you to pay into payments it will go away on the 26th as well, and the price will increase to its regular price. Um, you will save uh, $500 at this particular time uh, for signing up. So that's that. And then um, my next announcement is my Exceptional Mastermind. It is a six-month long opportunity for those of you who really want to deep dive into um, one, who you are being, because that's going to translate into how you're receiving. It is also an opportunity where the teach what you know will be inside that six month time frame. It's the only other space I normally teach that um, that training in. Um, more details, you do have to apply for that. Uh, let's see, you can go to renewfulcircle.com slash E2022. Renewfulcircle.com slash E2022. 2022. Are there any questions? If Even if you come back on the replay and you find that you have um, a question, I'll answer it for you. If it's too long of an answer for um, me responding through typing, then I'll message you. And uh, while I'm waiting to see if anyone has any questions, I'm going to move into this... Um, transformational question or concept I want to share with you as it relates to money. So we all have a money ceiling and we all have like a container for the money that we receive. Let's imagine that the money that you receive fits in a container and whenever you desire to receive at a different level, you need a new container. Your container has to expand. And I, I talked about money ceilings um, quite often uh, where you get to this certain income range and it either goes back down, trickles back down, or moving beyond that becomes difficult. And if you do move beyond that, it's, it's only for a short amount of time. So maybe if you were having four-figure months consistently and then you had a five-figure month, it's almost like once you have that five-figure month, something like your set position, your ceiling on the inside of you, your words, thoughts, your, your um, actions, your alignment, your energy, all of that is regulated to that lowered amount. And for whatever reason, you'll tank back down to the other. And so what happens is you have to expand your capacity or your container to be able to receive and do it consistently on that particular level. 
So I want to ask you like a couple questions, right, that will help you in that area on this morning. So where is your current money ceiling, right? And your money ceiling can have several, you know, elements or factors to it. Um, it's your ceiling for how you create money, your ceiling for how you receive money, your ceiling for how you invest money, and then the ceiling that you have for how you keep money, right? Like how you're able to hold on to money. So what is your current money ceiling in those particular areas? For one, I'll use myself as an example. So I owned a brick and mortar service-based business for about 10 years. And there was a belief that I could only create money a certain way prior to me opening that business, right? There, I had a certain belief about how I, I could create money before I opened that business. And that belief was, you know, if I wanted more money, I needed to go get more clients, right? I needed to, you know, hustle hard and do more work. That was my, my first um, money ceiling for creating money. And then, praise God, I um, connected with my mentor, who is still one of my mentors uh, to this day. And my time, just my time with her. Now, I worked with her, but it was actually my time with her and what I was able to see and hear that elevated my money ceiling for creating money yet again. Is this making sense to you all? So I understood at that time that I, I mean, she owned like nine locations that she had franchised out to other people. It really expanded what I thought was possible about earning money. Um, she was like in her mid thirties at that time. And she was rarely ever in the location. Like periodically she would be at the location, but she had a team and a general manager and all those things. And it flowed without her presence. And so it was an eye opener for, for me. And because I, um, work with her, I was able to expand my money ceiling in the um, concept of what I felt was possible for creating money. So it is the reason that I was able to open my brick and mortar business, hire a staff. Um, I had a staff of 12 people whenever we were full staff, you know, run a team and all of those things for over a decade. And I understood that I could duplicate what I was doing, teaching to other people. They could do it. I didn't always have to be there and money could be earned. Then I got to the point where, and this came from a desire. So many people don't even have a desire because they don't believe that it's possible. So their money ceiling kind of stays the same. But then I had a desire. I said, I want this to be, it's, it's got to be an easier way. And I actually, um, had a conversation with my dad many, many years ago where he was saying he was taking off work for a year. And I was like, who does that? <laughs> you know, who takes off work for a year? And that conversation alone, you know, caused me to kind of like set my attention to how is that possible? How can I do that for myself? Um, it's one of the reasons when I transitioned from my brick and mortar business to coaching and consulting full time. Now I told myself I'm going to be off two months, right? So I don't do coaching the months of July and the months of December. Um, and a lot of it was because of my belief. I'm also able to, you know, create money with a greater, much greater sense of, of ease. My Teach What You Know program, one of the things I did, I did a two hour flash offer. And, you know, within uh, an hour, I'd earned a thousand dollars. Whereas if I was trading my time for dollars, you know, I would be doing some physical work and all of those things in order to make that happen. So my money ceiling for creating money, the container that I had for creating money has expanded. And this is the work that I do with the clients that I, I serve and I get an opportunity to support. So many of my clients have tripled their income less their effort so they work a lot less but their income has tripled 
So I've had people who started out in their mid thirties, like 30,000 plus in their income who are at their six figure mark in a short amount of time. And so um, what is your money ceiling as it relates to creating? What do you believe is possible as it relates to being able to create revenue? It makes a huge difference about your current reality when it comes to money, the opportunities that you are even, you even say yes to, because if you don't believe it's possible, you won't even connect to it, right? It, 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 it doesn't even register. It's like bouncing off of a wall because you your money ceiling for creating money is at a certain standpoint. I hope my, my own personal example that I gave you guys helps you in that matter. So what is your money ceiling as it relates to creating money? And so for me, one of my top five values is growth. So I continue to expand or enlarge my container for creating revenue. And this is what I help my clients to do. This is a lot of what I'm going to do in the exceptional mastermind on a really deep level with, you know, the members that join us. And I didn't share that in the announcements, but the exceptional mastermind starts in June. So somewhere heading towards the end of May, the enrollment opportunity for that will close. So what is your money ceiling as it relates to creating money? What do you believe is possible for creating money? The number two element of a money ceiling and, um, you know, what your money ceiling is. What is your money ceiling for receiving? So do you have questions like, um, okay, when we think about your products and services that you do as an entrepreneur or even that you desire to do and Maybe you have a figure in your head if it's something that you desire to do. And for those of you who are already in business, you already have like a price point for your services. So how does it feel to you when you think about doubling what you charge for that set, said service that you're thinking about? So think about a service that you have and then think about how it feels, how it would feel to double the cost, the investment cost of that particular service? How does that feel for you? How does tripling it feel for you? How does quadrupling it feel for you? And what you're going to do is you're going to get to a point where you start getting really uncomfortable when you think about that amount, when you think about um, offering your services at that particular price point, whether you may have felt it when you thought about doubling it, you may have felt it when you thought about uh, tripling it or quadrupling it. And what happens is whenever you start to notice some resistance in, you know, being able to offer your services at that particular price, that is probably a part of your money ceiling for receiving, right? This also can come up if you look back to, you know, what you've earned over the last six months, or if you want to do it in yearly terms. There is like this amount that is kind of like the average amount of money that you normally make. It doesn't mean that you don't have higher earning months, but when you really think about it, you always kind of come back to this certain average amount of money that you earn. So for instance, if you want to do it like what you earn month, month, monthly, if you're normally earning four figures uh, monthly, and then you have a five-figure month, but you can't really hold that. It doesn't really stay. You don't stay in that energy. You don't stay in that vibration. It kind of always comes back to the certain point. That is your money ceiling for like receiving. And what happens is like you, you may make a lot of money and then you'll get out of flow or you'll slow down or you'll do something that sabotages you staying at that particular level, right? And it's, it's, it's just your money ceiling. It's like your set point. And there are many things that I do to help my clients to enlarge that set point and that container where, you know, they are consistently hitting this new income goal on a regular basis and it's not just hit or miss. Um, there are things that could come up like, fear, you know, it, it's questions that you start, you know, thinking or you're just not comfortable 
at that particular space. And I know a lot of us say, yeah, I'll be comfortable. But if you, this is a real practical thing you can do. You can go back and look at your money and you'll see there's a certain space that you get to. And even if you have higher times, you, you kind of drop back down. You always kind of drop back down. This is when, this is the money ceiling or the current container that you have as it relates to receiving money. And I remember this was about maybe six years ago. I remember my mom asking me a question. And this is so amazing because sometimes you hear things and it doesn't fully register and you don't even know that that is like a key to your next level because oftentimes we can't see ourselves. And she asked me, she said, when you make a lot of money, you tend to slow down. I'm like, what is, what is she talking about? Because I felt like I was still, I mean, I was still working, right? Because at that time, um, had I, I wasn't full time in coaching and consulting. I was coaching and consulting, but I was still, you know, trading my time for dollars in the previous career that I did. So I was still working, but I, because I understand energy differently now, mindset and all of those things, I realized that my energetic uh, set point at that time took me back to what I was normally making. Like when you get those large injections into your business or those surprise moments in your business where, wow, I made more money, you know, maybe you had a $3,000 day and a $1,000 day is your normalcy or whatever the case may be. But you kind of like, your, all of your energy kind of slows down. And when you are, you know, expanding your money ceiling and the container to which you can receive money, everything gets into alignment for that next level so that you can do it consistently. And so that's my question for you. Two more. As it relates to money, this is an exercise or something that you can think about. It's just a level of awareness. It's going to help you tremendously. So we talked about your money ceiling as it relates to what's your money ceiling for creating money and then your money ceiling for receiving money. Remember, if you find that you will have like larger sums of money, your best day, your best week, your best month, best year or whatever. No, not year, because once you've consistently done it for months consecutively, you've probably moved or expanded your capacity to receive. But you'll notice you'll sabotage it in some way, some form or fashion something will come up to kind of bring you right back to that average that you're at now. Um, another thing that can impact your money ceiling for receiving money, I remember when I owned a brick and mortar business, I had daily quotas that I wanted to meet. And I think those are good. I think having a daily quota are good. But my reasoning for having those was at a time where I was trying to work smarter, not harder, make sure that I had enough money to cover all of the expenses at my business, you know, some money on the side, things like that. And to make sure I wasn't overworking because at that time I hadn't created larger um, containers to receive money. I didn't have, you know, coaching to this expansive um, way that I have it now. And so what happens though, this is where you have to be careful and I don't know why Dave Ramsey keeps coming up, but I do believe that um, the, the systems and things that he uses work, but just like creating those um, set points of income that you want to earn daily in your business, where you want to have quotas, it can also become a limitation. <clears throat> and here's what I mean. So because you're accustomed to hitting this quota and being okay with it, right? This daily quota, I need this amount every day. It often becomes the, the consciousness that you rest in for earning money. Somebody put me in the comments. I hope this is making sense for you all. I'm dropping some really, really, really heavy nuggets. Some really great nuggets for you um, this morning. And so if you're not careful you will say that you want to expand and grow and enlarge the amount of money that you're making, but you've already created this a conscious, it's, it's subconsciously in your mind, this set point for how much money you need to earn. 
And so there are some things that you have to do to retrain um, that subconscious thinking and your ability to, to hold space for that new, you know, income or level that you earn because you might stop doing one thing in order to go earn yet that same amount almost just in another area, but not necessarily expand what the amount is. So this is a huge uh, amount of what I'll be doing in the Exceptional Mastermind. And I also tap into it inside my Money Master Life class, which is um, it's a course that you can dig digitally download. It helps you to identify your money ceiling, your personal beliefs around money. It just helps you kind of get started on that process to expand your mindset as it relates to money. I believe I put it at the top of this link. Um, it's RenewFullCircle.com. Hey, Andrea, darling, how are you? It's RenewFullCircle.com slash money. You can access that immediately. You also get lifetime access. It's not a course that I normally uh, host live anymore. It's a digital course, but I have some a new download that I want to add to it that I'll probably add to it over the next month. So if you purchase the digital download, if, when I do open the enrollment or if I do open the enrollment live, you will get the new information. And even if I don't open it live, I will add that to it and you will get access to the, the new information. Um, Andrea, would you like to come on camera this morning? Do you have a question that you would like to um, ask this morning? So I am doing a little Q&A uh, as well. And so the next element for your money ceiling is investing. And so what type of questions do you have as it relates to investing? We, we all normally have like a set point to how much we're willing to invest in ourselves or even what we're willing to invest in ourselves on or what area, right? So some people will only invest in themselves as it relates to a business strategy. Um, but when it comes to their leadership and who they're being, they won't invest in that area. So that may be a ceiling, you know, a, uh, an element of your money ceiling that you have because you you may not necessarily feel that tapping into who you are is going to change the dynamics of your money as well. And so where are you as it relates to investing money? Do you ask yourself questions like, will I get this money back? If so, that's normally a limiting belief that will keep you, you know, from the expansion. Um, what's your money ceiling as it relates to keeping it? Again, when things come about, do you you know, maybe get those higher injections in your business and then something comes where you sabotage it, whether, you know, sabotaging is kind of slowing down. And I don't mean being at a steady pace as in, let me, you know, go hard in the paint, but do you just kind of fall back and get out of flow of earning the money when you have like those larger months or weeks? Does it seem like you always get back to like this average price point of earning, right? And so um, that relates to your money ceiling as it relates to keeping money, your ability to actually, you know, keep money. And we understand that money is a currency, you know, and, and a flow. One of the things I teach my clients is six things to do with a dollar. And so um, these are my, that's my questions and my, my transformational question for you as it relates to money this morning. It will serve you if you really sit and think about it. For those of you who actually want to, you know, do some work in that area, I do have a digital course that you can access immediately. It's uh, renewfullcircle.com slash money. Um, you get immediate access. There's a workbook to go along with it and you get lifetime access. If I ever decide to host it live again, you can come live. You'll be able to join us free as I add new information to that money mastermind. Um, digital course, you, you'll you get that new information as well. Um, device won't allow you. Okay, awesome. I saw you on the other page. Hope everyone is doing well this morning. I hope that this has blessed you. Um, again, I shared some announcements. Um, I shared some ways to think about your money and your money ceilings. 
Um, and I was given an opportunity for anyone to ask questions if they had questions. Again, I said, if you come back on the replay and you leave a question, if it's going to require me to do too much typing, I may message you, but I will still try to answer um, a question uh, for business or life that you may have on this morning. That's my take on this morning. Um, I pray that you guys have a super amazing, blessed, prosperous um, Friday. I hope that you are led to whatever it is that you need in this season, that you're able to see it and um, that you're able to, to move on it. And a lot of that is choosing you. I did a broadcast on choosing you on yesterday. It's super, super important, especially for us as women. Um, if you think about it, guys, men choose themselves often. They don't struggle in that area as much as we do. They go do what's necessary. Even men who are married, they go do things with their guy friends. And, you know, whether it's golfing or whatever. Us, we have all these restraints around um, choosing ourselves, And so um, my prayer for you is that you choose you. You can go back to the front. I shared all of, or the beginning of this live training, I shared all of the um, announcements as it relates to my in-person intensive, my next master class that's coming up, and then the opportunity for you to just get immediate access to my money mastermind class. It's renewfulcircle.com slash money. Renewfulcircle.com slash money. Andrea says, the work that I need to do with you has so many layers that I know a singular question won't land solidly. I get it. I totally, totally get it. And so there are several opportunities and ways for you to work with me at extended amounts of time. Um, I do... 60 day time frame. Some people work with me a full year privately if that's what they desire. And then my group coaching opportunities. I also have, um, because with my like business coaching, I don't have like a one session time frame. It's either 60 days or a whole year for um, personal coaching or um, inside group coaching. But I do have a life strategy session that. Um, you can begin with a one-time session with me. And that link is RenewfulCircle.com slash LSS. RenewfulCircle.com slash LSS. Andrea says, my new freedom has to be handled differently. Yeah, because you're going to handle you differently, right? You're choosing you um, in this season. Um, just some simple things, guys, and I, I know people really take this really, really lightly, but policing your thoughts and asking yourself, do I have limiting beliefs around this? And I want to share with you all that everybody has limiting beliefs. I have limiting beliefs. And because like the way I earn money, there's someone who earns it even easier than I earn money, right? And so although I'm earning money with ease, there is still a limiting belief because someone is at another level. Someone is a millionaire, a multi multi-millionaire, a billionaire, right? And even the billionaire has a limiting belief as it relates to money until they get to that next level. So we all have them. We all have, you know, limiting beliefs. And so, I mean, I, some people that may be hard to hear, but, you know, that's what evolving and growing is, is overcoming limiting beliefs that we had prior that were keeping us at the level that we were. So we all have them. We'll all continue to have them as we grow and evolve. They just expand. Our container in, containers enlarge. Our capacity enlarges. Our paradigms shift. You know, sometimes we quantum leap. And, and I've seen people quantum leap and then tumble back down because that is their set point. That is where their money ceiling is. And that's a lot of the work I do. It's, uh, it's one of the reasons why, um, you know, I, I choose the group coaching opportunities like exceptional because it gives me an extended amount of time to, to, um, work with people. That's my take on today. If you guys, um, have no more questions, I'm going to be out, but I will answer them in the comments. You guys have a super amazing day.